Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to- I'm gonna hit this eyeball- Oh, it shoots me with fire! Never mind. Owie. This is what I get for taking things... ...so casually. Okay, well, we've taken damage. Okay, we're gonna avoid that. The problem is, it effectively is just going to be... Walloping me constantly. That hurt. Maybe I should have considered bringing more healing. Oh my god. I, we are running. Uh, I think I'm screwed, actually. Wait. Nope. They found me. Let's drink a healing potion. My only healing potion. If we're lucky, we can get something... Crap. She keeps teleporting it next to me, which is actually super handy. I just bypassed it because I pressed my action ahead of time. Okay. So we might actually want to consider equipping this staff for the time being. Mainly because... Ow! <laughs> wow! That was not what I wanted to deal with. Okay, can I... Can I, like, attack ground here or something? What I want to see if, is if staves have ranged attacks. Or if they're pure melee. Oh. Oh, interesting. There's something called Use Mastery in this game. So... So you can, um... Stand in fire, which hurts. Okay. Well... He's resistant to fire. How resistant to fire? Not that resistant to fire. Well, that's good. Sadly... Nope, we do have enough keys. Beautiful. Okay. Sadly, we're not getting a whole lot of loot here. We took some damage, which is... Fine? Hopefully, I can get some more healing potions as we go along. I wonder if I can also just leave. I'm not entirely sure. It's rough. You immediately walk into an area and it's just like, How do you love... Fire? And I'm like, I don't really... That was a... That was a darn dirty room. Okay, hello. This must be the friend. Okay. Are you a friend or foe? Friend, I think. Did a scroll from Meryl bring you here? Yes! How do you know him? Or her. What? She recruited me too. Stick with me. I'll take you to her. Oh, so I get to be Peril now, or whatever his name was. Okay, so we're not injured. We've got another party member. Reveal trap. Oh, I see. So if you have enough, uh, what was it, finesse? Okay, let's switch to the staff and see if I have a ranged attack with this thing. Nope. This is my beaten stick. Okay, back to the ass. Uh, ass. The axe it goes. Okay, so we need a key for this. Yeah, we need to pick up some kind of reliable ranged weapon here, so I can wander around with that primarily. I don't- I don't mind the axe, but I need some kind of charge move. And I don't think I have anything that, uh... I don't think I have anything that quality here. Well, let's see, how many of this? I'll make one elixir of life, we're gonna need it. Yeah, I'll just charge him. I don't want to stand in the burning zones anyway. Even though this freaking hurts. At least I'll be able to kill both of them in one go. There we go. So one thing I like about the axe here. It does that. And there's a merchant of some variety. I'm on fire. And of course there's another one of these guys. Hopefully I get some bonus moves here at some point. It would be real nice. Okay, what's this? Oh, waypoint! I can teleport to any of these waypoints using my full map by pressing the magnifying glass at the top right of the screen. Okay. Useful. We got that weird merchant dude. Keys and stuff. Let's get in here. It gives us another sword. And we have a trap here. Alright. Yeah, I might as well do everything I possibly can for experience. 
Uh, I guess let's talk to the merchant. Take a look, I've got some great treasures here. So, that he does. They're very expensive, admittedly. So let's, let's take a look at what I've got for the time being. Oh, I finally have uh, the tunic. I've got a ring. Ring is not much. Is this better than what I had? Oh, also, Steve's rank, uh, plus one rank. Okay, useful. Boots are about the same. Shield's worse. Okay. Lance. Nope. So the rest of these are pretty garbage. So let's just sell them all. Uh, and let's take a look. So we've got an amulet. No. Ring, no. And I can't afford any of these things. I'd love to pick up maybe the bow. Yeah, bonus experience per kill. That'd be handy. Uh, but no dice. Oh yeah, let's also sell the stave. Even though I guess the extra rank did increase my... Um, uh, the extra rank did increase my... Oh, what's this? Oh, I see. That's my current quest. Okay. I've equipped that. I'm not too injured. I don't have many keys. I really wish I had a ranged weapon here. I guess I do. Hmm. I might straight up die here. What? Oh. Okay. As long as we're not standing in the burning zone, this is probably fine. At least we're getting plenty of healing potions from this. Okay. No, I don't want to talk to this guy. Get. Is there a way to rotate the camera? No! Okay. Health potions healed companions. Good to know. Well, I guess I'll just shoot it. And it's a greedling. I don't have enough materials. What? Oh, come on. Gonna see if I can get after the Greedling. I mean, she'll keep hitting it. I just can't do such a thing, and it's just gonna keep running away from me, isn't it? Stop running. I don't have anything I can hit you with. Yeah, I really don't have anything I can hit it with. Well, I'm just gonna keep running. Pull out your bow, shoot the Greedling. No! Yeah, this is why we need, like, some kind of movement-enhancing thing, from a charge to a sprint to an I-don't-know-what, a something. Because, yeah, I can't... I can't actually make it from, um... From... I can't catch up to enemies if they're running away to me, and it's hard to clear distances of things that are just pelting me with shots. Okay, let's take a look at this. Nine damage. It's not good. Okay, and I do not have more than a fire blast or two lined up here. That's a bit rough. Might have to pick up some more Crimson Ash. I was hoping that this would be a little bit more than just like a handful, but I guess it's life. Okay, well, let's kill these. I don't think the... Uh I don't think these... The weak harpies kind of attack, but they're not that dangerous. Silence, but that's not a problem. Oh, he can hit me from there. But that's okay. Actually, pretty okay with the harpies. Don't kill the harpies unless we got everything else. Yeah, silence could hurt, too. Uh, when we level, I should probably put at least a little bit of... Uh, at least a little bit of my points into... Um, endurance, maybe? Still don't have any keys here. I hate fighting these beholders. These weak malevolences. They're my least favorite thing. I've never seen a woman fight so well. My father was a general. He encouraged me to fight. Did he teach you magic, too? No. By law, lamb women aren't allowed to do magic. It weakens the power in our children... Merle and I, well, we didn't exactly follow the war rules. I won't judge you. I'm not exactly a law-abiding citizen of Rilfenora either. Okay, so. Get that out of the way. We still haven't found any keys, have we? No. What's this? Shiny talisman. Increase gold per pickup. Can be socketed into... Hey. 
Well, let's do that for the time being. Uh, let's see. What about this hat? Hat is an upgrade. So if it's yellow, it must be an upgrade to what we've already got. Well, she's looking pretty worse for the wear, but so am I. And that's a boss. Ouroboros the Wise. Isn't Ouroboros supposed to be a snake that eats its own tail? It is. What? Not sure. Ow! Um... It attacks twice. Let's try fire here. I don't have much for ranged attacks, but I'll take it. Is it just me or am I like wildly underleveled for this? I might be. Which begs questions. I'm just gonna keep shooting a Roboros the Wise until I'm out of shots, which I think is right now. Actually. What the hell? This is insane. And I can't teleport away. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens when I lose. Very shortly. Hopefully I don't, like, fail the quest or anything. Maybe it just makes me redo it. This is goofy nonsense. Well, I'm completely surrounded. Hit the boss. Luckily, the boss is distracted. What happened? Did I die? Don't worry, I've got the Eye of Anoret. It will magically revive you soon. Just stick close to me until it activates. Okay. I need to take out Ouroboros the Wise. Okay. It's running away from me. Which is actually kind of a benefit. Except for... It's now coming to attack me. Okay, just keep doing your teleporting nonsense. And we'll be okay, I'm fucked. Well, now we learn if I'm dead, I've died. Oh, uh, well, what happens when I die? Uh, always carry plenty of materials for your spells. I would like to... So, does this throw me back? No. No, it doesn't. I've actually got all of my, my stuff left, so... I'm rather glad there's no permadeath system in this game. Okay, so this is all hot garbage, so let's get rid of that. I don't really want to buy healing potions here. Or Crimson Ash. Is there, like, a weaker dungeon that I can go into? Because that was, like, mean rough. Can't do Artichuck. Doesn't look like we actually have any quests to do. It's confusing. Huh. Okay, it's the exact same thing. Yeah, I guess we just go back and we just throw our corpse at that until we win? Huh. Was not expecting this sort of thing. The problem is now I'm completely out of healing potions. Which is rough biz. Let's see. An enchanting shrine. Ooh. Okay, that might be useful. Okay, one damage re uh, dealt returned his health. Good stuff. Okay, and of course I haven't leveled up yet. Be one of those where if I leveled up frequently, it would actually probably help out in the long run. But I don't, and that's rough. Okay. 
There's the one problem with the story-based roguelike is it could scale weird. Oh, but this dungeon might be different. We might not actually have all those beholders, or even the same boss. Okay. It's firing its eggs at me. But I can deal with birds. Can also deal with omelets. Yeah. Okay. So we've still got one of these guys. As long as they're not the uh As long as they're not those those like beholders that keep shooting fire at me for stupid damage, I actually totally okay with this. Uh, looks like we've got at least one more door here that we can get through. Yeah, I wish there was a way to uh, speed up combat animations in this game. Or if, like, a lot of actions were taken simultaneously. Would be handy. Just because, like, I don't mind a semi-slow roguelike. But after a certain point, there is such a thing as too slow. And I feel like we're kind of sitting on that. Okay. I wasn't sure if I should have done that, but that's okay. We get a fair amount of EXP from that. Yeah, my my lifesteal on hit with this axe is actually pretty damn beast. Let's see. Did I get a key for this? I did. Okay, all treasure and... Yeah, I don't have anything anyway. Okay, well, let's check inventory here. That's worse. Okay, no. Yellow outline things are just new. Nothing else. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, so what I want to do is pick up some kind of ranged weapon so we can pot shot things. But... I guess until we get something like that? I don't know. I see. Descend. But yeah, this is uh, kind of a problem with uh, story-based roguelikes. Progression-based roguelikes. Uh, is that instead of having, like, a proper balance, they just force you to go through the same level a couple of times. Uh, more or less. So it's like, oh, you're not low enough a level. Well, just keep redoing this one until you, until you are a high enough level. And then problem solved. It's not terrible, especially because, you know, it's enjoyable. Oh, interesting. He hits the whole party. That's good to know. Okay, well, we're almost up a level, so that's going to be helpful. Yeah, she's got a ranged weapon, but boy, does it not do damage. Resistant cosmic. Right. I forgot there's cosmic magic as a thing. Eh, I guess she's okay. Be nice if I could see what... Oh, I see. It's just, it's just electricity. Nothing more. Nothing less. Okay, so we've got healing potions. We're kind of making it back as far as the fire magic goes. But honestly, I don't know if I need to save that up for fire spells or if I should save that up for... Um... I don't know if I should save that up for fire spells or healing potions. Because healing potions are expensive. Yeah, I'm just going to leave those eggs there. It'll just spawn more enemies, or something. Plus, who knows, she might just kill them. Yep, looks like she's on egg duty. Okay. Interesting, when it fell, it actually re revealed that there were enemies up the other direction. Okay. Well, not like the eggs are an issue. I'm just going to use what fire I have on this guy. See if I can kill the Greedling this time around. There we go. Worth it, probably. Yeah, that seems very much like it was completely worth it. Okay, so let's, let's see what we just picked up here. We've got a Glimmering Lightning Wand of Slaying. It's got five charges on it. Oh, interesting. So it's a um, temporary use spell. Okay... Defense, fire, magic, rank, sockets, yes. Okay. And buckler of guarding seems like it's a little bit better. 
Some bonus and staves, but that doesn't really help too much. Let's see, and everything else is kind of meaningless here. Okay. Yeah, so I'll hold on to that wand probably for when we fight the boss. Well, speak of the bird devil. I guess I'll just bash that open. Let's see. So it's going to be busy shitting eggs. Okay, sometimes the hit detection for these tiles, not great. Ow. Okay. So I vastly underestimated how much damage that thing did. But it's okay. We made it back with experience and stuff. We're getting better here. Just rough. Having to redo these things repeatedly gets a little bit slow. Oh, but we get to bring a key with us. Useful. And yeah, I know I could buy some more potions here, but I kind of don't want to. I, I kind of have to, honestly. I'm just going to spend all my potion. Oh, only five are allowed in inventory. Okay, that's, that's rough. Well, we're getting there. Huh, and it moved this time around. Doom Room. Oh, it moves every time. So it's a it's a different dungeon every time you go through it. Well, I'm super glad I'm not playing on hardcore mode right now. Gonna be honest. At some point, we'll actually have the proper momentum we need for, for this. But right now, I'm just... It's actually slower than the uh, alpha version, which is kind of impressive. Uh, just in terms of having the party member and... Or party members when you add in the companion creature. But also, um... Just, you know, the, the the alpha demo that I was given had a lot of random generated dungeons that you could do that were kind of more your level. For the most part, it's about my level, but then you get to the boss and it just wrecks your face and you're like, mm. I don't know. Well, well, we'll keep going. Just, you lose momentum real fast when you die on the second dungeon repeatedly. Even though I guess that seems to be kind of the point of it all, uh, it's still rough. One way or another, I think this is actually a decent stopping point. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Rogue Wizards. And as always, thanks for watching.